What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to get outside and shoot bow for a little bit. No reviews or no tips and stuff. Today I'm just going to take you guys with me while I shoot my bow a little bit. I just made a pretty big draw length adjustment on it. So I'm looking forward to kind of seeing how, how it reacts and how it shoots. It's been about, well not about, but it's been three years since I've had a target bow set up and did any sort of serious shooting with one. I've kept my hunting bows set up throughout the, that time frame and I've still been shooting some, but not like I, not as much as I used to and definitely not a target set up. So with that said, we're jumping back into it. I'm hoping to start dabbling in some local stuff and a few national events this year and then maybe next year I can add more to the um, schedule. So with that said, we're going to go outside, shoot a little bit, see what it feels like. I'm still working through kind of getting my shot to feel the way I want it to and getting my bow to hold and act the way I want it to. So it's a fun time. I enjoy it, but it does take some work and take some time. So with that said, let's go shoot. super foggy this morning it's been foggy every morning for the last about the last week it seems so it's gonna make for a super cool looking video not really um but yeah we're gonna see what's going on probably gonna shoot from here Should be about 30, 30, 35 yards. Only got two arrows. I broke one yesterday morning and I hadn't had a chance to build any more. I got some more in the shop. I just hadn't been able to build them. So we'll see what's going on. It's just finding the time to do this is tricky right now. That's why I hadn't had a lot of videos made because I haven't had a whole lot of time with work and life and stuff. But here we are. So, let's see. <laughs> UV3. I might do a video giving you guys my thoughts on that. UV3. But I haven't decided yet. Got the 3D range cleaned up, so we'll be able to shoot that some, make some videos for you guys. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what that drawing feels like. It's in the dot. Shooting your hunting bow is one thing, but getting back into shooting a target bow with weight on the stabilizers and stuff and a higher holding weights, it's a whole different world. Ooh, saucy. A little low. Let's go take a look at it. So, made a pretty big draw length adjustment, like I was saying, and it feels entirely different. So I'm gonna shoot it for a couple days, see what it feels like, see if my 
sight picture gets adjusted. I won't make any changes to um, stabilizers or really anything right now because I made such a big adjustment on my draw length. It'd be kind of silly to start changing all sorts of other stuff because I don't know what my baseline is going to be with the big change I just made. So with that said, they're still a half inch off of each other and a little low on my dot, but I kind of figured my sight tape would change. So I will add a couple clicks to the sight tape. See if I can bring it up a little bit. I know this sight tape isn't right. I had a couple buddies come over earlier this week and we kind of halfway shot the, the 3D range back there. And I didn't have a sight tape because I hadn't had much time to mess with my bow. So I like threw one together real fast. And I think you guys are a little uneven. Let me check. Eh, it's close enough. Like I said, I threw one together real fast and like 20 through... Honestly, like 20 through 30-ish were good, but anything past that was shooting real high, which I kind of figured because I only made two sight marks and just let it ride um, because I was in a pinch for time. That was better. I hit my click earlier than I would have wanted to. Normally I would let down, but I kind of just working on like the mental side of my shot too. So I just forced myself to execute through it. I may end up needing to adjust it. Anytime you play with draw links and stuff, you know, there's a chance you could need to adjust if you're shooting a hinge or what have you because your hand and back are in different alignment points and whatnot. This is gonna get real exciting for you guys walking back and forth after two friggin' arrows, but I'll build some more hopefully tonight or maybe while I'm sleeping or something. These two were up, they weren't low, but I added a couple clicks. I mean, I probably didn't even add a half yard to my site. Still favoring the left side a little bit, but I think honestly that's me getting used to that draw length. So if anybody asks, because somebody may end up asking, that dot is an inch by an inch. That dot that I'm shooting at. But you know what they say. You got to aim small to miss small. Not really. You just got to focus on a small spot. Doesn't really matter how big the dot is. Enjoy this foggy Florida morning. I really need to probably adjust my indicator, but I didn't bring any Allen wrenches with me. They're in the shop, so we're gonna let this puppy buck.
amateur hour. My light. <clears throat> I wasn't paying attention to my light on my pen, so kind of shut itself off in the middle of that. That sucked. You can tell I'm not used to holding with that extra half inch of draw length. It's uh, this first couple shots when I was feeling good and strong, it was it was money, money. But right now, it's kind of breaking down. Yeah, that's all right. It's part of it. That's what we're what we're working on. I was having I had a pretty good sight picture when my drawing was shorter, but this my bow arm shoulder I tore my labrum in a couple years back, and ever since then, if I don't get if I don't get my drawing just right, it gives me a lot of pain. And I was experiencing some of that. My sight picture was freaking golden, but I could tell I wasn't where I needed to be. Um, so yeah, I went out a little bit longer, maybe too long. We'll see. Like I said, I need to shoot it for a couple of days or maybe a week, give my body time to get acclimated. You can't make a drawing change and know what it feels like. And you know, the app, you know, most of us, if we're pros, that's one thing, like that'd be one thing, but most of us aren't going to make a draw link change especially like a half inch or an inch or sometimes even a little bit smaller than that and just instantly go out and say wow this feels as natural as ever it may feel better initially but after a couple days it could get worse after a couple days it could get better so usually you want to try to stick with it for a couple days but like i told you these broke a little low um and this bow this bow hasn't been tuned really at all to be honest with you guys i eyeballed everything and went outside and shot it. My peep sight's like halfway tied in because I was playing with different peep heights and stuff. So once I get it close on my draw length where I want it, then I'll probably finish up, you know, torque tune and blah, 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 walk back tune, all that stuff. But I'm not gonna be shooting ASA and Foley that's coming up, so I've got a little bit of time. And I do think this will be my last group of a two arrow parlay because I have to go to work. Unless you guys wanna start sending me money so I can stay home and make videos for y'all, I'd be more than happy to do so. But until that happens, I still got to work and pay the bills. little left of the dot but they've kind of been favoring the left side this whole morning and like I said I think that might be draw length
that broke low. That was foobarred from the start on that one, team. I know I said that was my last two, but I'm gonna shoot two more real quick. And then I do got a boogie. That first shot felt pretty good. Sight picture breaking down a little bit these past couple rounds, like I told you, um, which is to be expected. But that last one was real bad, but it broke low and it hit low. So this one I could tell was a little left. And like I said, that one I knew broke low and it was a disaster team. We're shooting like 35, 36 yards right now. So nothing very far at all. But it's kind of my go-to on, on like a 3D bow. Just because I know I'm not going to shoot more than 50 yards. And I'm not going to shoot many shots less than 20. So I kind of find that happy medium of, you know, that average of where the majority of my shots will probably be and kind of set my peep and sight to that so that I'm not having to come out too high on the long shots I'm not having to get too low on the low shots kind of keep a pretty decent head position as much as possible and that's that's nothing special people have been doing that little trick forever so I didn't invent it don't give me credit for it These last couple rounds have been trash. That's all right. I'm patient. I'm playing the long game. That shot looks like it's sitting in the top left corner of that little square dot that I'm aiming at. Looks like it's sitting on the corner of the dot, to be honest with you. Right where I wanted it. That draw length is whooping me, team. I've been for the last uh, maybe week, maybe a touch more. I've been shooting it kind of short, like I was saying, and playing with that. And I got used to loading my back into that. And I can tell, like, I'm loading my back into this, but it's I'm creeping off the wall just a little bit now that I've got a, what is this, like six or eight shots in me? I'm just way out of shooting shape with it's one thing like without with a hunting bow you know we got high let off and stuff like that and blah 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 but mass on a target bow like overall weight and then holding weight like my holding weight on this is like 17 pounds so or 16 16 pounds correction so you really got to have your poop in a nicely packaged group to stay involved in that but <clears throat> I'm sure some internet experts can give me some advice, so I'll have my notepad ready. That one was low. Yep. One was in the dot and one was low. That's kind of how these last, what, three rounds have been. But I'm going to keep shooting it. Not right now. I got to go to the J-O-B. But 
gonna keep shooting. I think this draw length, I might end up after a couple days, I might end up having to just tweak it the tiniest bit, but I don't know, those first couple shots when I felt real good and strong first thing, um, they felt really good. And my sight picture was, I, I was liking it. So I'm gonna shoot it for this for a little bit. Crap, I just pulled these um, and didn't show you guys. So I had one right there in the top of the dot and my other one was right there. No internet perfect scores here, guys. Y'all see what I see. So it'll get better. It just takes a little time. Like I said, or that might've been in my other edit that I forgot to hit record on, or I hit record on, but it shut off. They always say, oh, sh shooting a bow is like riding a bike, but they don't tell you that the bike has a flat tire, a bent rim, one pedal, and it's going downhill. So yeah, shooting bows like riding a bike. On a side note, when you get to shoot a sweet freaking purple bow, you don't have no choice but to keep it happy, like the shirt says. I've got one particular subscriber that's really gonna dig the shirt. So I'm looking forward to that comment already. But let me put this thing down and get inside. I'll come get it in a second. And we're back. So I'm gonna close it out here because I've really got a boogie and get to work. But my one little word of advice, try things. Don't be afraid to experiment if you feel like it could be better. You don't know if you don't try. Now, with that being said, when you make a change, you may shoot like crap for a little while. That's part of it. These aren't the groups that I was shooting a couple days ago, but I kind of expected that. The first two groups that I shot, or three groups this morning, were like, eh, I mean, that at 35 is like, not going to win you anything, but I know it'll get where it needs to be if I give it some time and get these tweaks worked out. So if you make changes, expect to suck for a little bit. It's part of it. You made a big change. Your body's got to get used to it. Mentally, you've got to get used to it. And you may find that that wasn't the change you needed to make. So you go back. But when you make a change, shoot it for 10 minutes. You're like, oh, this sucks. I'm shooting like crap. And you change it back. You haven't given yourself any time. So you don't know if it's going to be worth the crap or not. So that's my little word of advice. Don't be afraid to try stuff. And if you do try stuff, give it a little bit of time. You'll know after a couple days, you know, maybe a week on something like a big draw length adjustment, you'll know. Like, okay, yeah, overall, I'm seeing better results. Um, maybe my misses aren't as bad or the bow seems a little more forgiving, et cetera, whatever. Just try the stuff and see. Um, that's my little advice on my shooting day. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me for 15 minutes or so while I shoot two arrows at a time in the fog. So hopefully I have a couple more arrows built. I've got them. I just haven't had a chance to build them. So hopefully I get some built so that we can uh, shoot more than two at a time on the next video. And I'm really thinking now that I mentioned it earlier, I'm thinking I'm going to do a review on that Ultra View Scope, the UV3, um, UV3, UV3 XL. I've got the UV3. Um, I think I'm going to do a review on it. There's a couple things about it that just... Uh, there's, just, there's a couple things about it. We'll leave it at that. So, with that being said, like always, grab your bow, get outside, shoot something. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.